Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Theodore. Hi, Santa. So tell me, have Brian and Jackie been a good boy and girl this year? Well, Santa, they've been okay. What seems to be the problem? Well, Brian doesn't brush his teeth every night, especially after too many eggnogs. And sometimes, Jackie calls in sick to work, but she's actually not sick. That's lying, Santa. Ho, ho. Oh, Theodore. They're grown-ups now. You know what that means. So, I should kill them? What? No, of, of course not. It means they're old enough to make their own decisions and live with the consequences. Consequences being I need to kill them? No, do not kill them. You are my best performing elf. Every year the kid you watch doesn't end up on the naughty list the next year. <gasps> no. <laughs> you listen here, Theodore. I forbid you to kill any more people. Look at me and tell me you understand. Did... Did you just wink? No, I did not wink. I think you just winked. No, I didn't. Got the message loud and clear, Santa. I will not kill anyone. Okay, bye. Come back here. Theodore! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Cheesy Desert Cooking Vlog. Today, we're making a very special holiday prime rib roast. While selecting a roast, you have a couple different options. Personally, I'm a big fan of the ribeye cap, or sometimes called the deckel. So I asked my butcher to cut from the side with the larger cap. Also, when it comes to size, you generally want to buy one bone for every two people. Here I have three bones, because sometimes I pretend I have five friends to eat with me. One last thing I had the butcher do was remove the bones from the roast, but tie them back on. It's easier to cut and remove the bones later, but you still keep all the flavor of the bones. We're going to start by making an herb butter. Here I have some garlic, rosemary, and thyme. So what we're going to do is put them together nicely and crush them with a pine cone. It's a Christmas miracle. Next, we need to add some softened butter. This, however, is hardened butter, because I didn't leave it out to warm up. That's okay though. All you need to do is... And there you have it. Soft like baby poo poo. Give it all a little mix, then add in lots of salt and pepper. Remember, this is a nine pound roast, so use a lot. Like a quarter cup of each. and a little pinch of cayenne. Now we want to cover every inch of this meat chunk. Normally I would say you should untie this, cover it in butter, then tie it back, but that's trying too hard. Instead, I'm just gonna dig into its crevice and finger blast the insides away until you're satisfied. When you're done with the inside, you can cover the rest with the roast. Ah, crap, I missed a spot and I'm all out of butter. Next, we're gonna cut up a bed of veggies for the roast to rest on while it's in the oven. Spray some olive oil and give it a little shake a shake up. The oil helps keep it from burning. Place your roast over the veggies in the center and, and sprinkle it with a little more salt. We need to add one last important ingredient before you put it into the oven. Love. Aww. Now grab your trusty rectal thermometer and stick it in the center of the roast. Set your oven to high, like the highest it will go. Whatever you need to do to get it super hot, do it. Now to roast this, we're gonna use a little roasting trick I learned from Chef John. It really works amazingly. Take the weight of this roast, which is nine pounds. You're gonna multiply this by five minutes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Forty-five. Then you're gonna add five extra minutes to make up for the heat that you lost when you opened the oven. So forty-five plus five is. Hey, guy. Give me your hands, guy. Give me your hands. Once the time is up, you're going to turn off the oven and do absolutely nothing. Don't open the door. Don't touch it. Don't smell it. Don't even look at it. Just leave it in there with the oven off. Just like when you pee next to another dude. Unless he's like the size of the rock. Because in that case, I mean, you just really have to know. It's been two hours since I turned off the oven and we're at the perfect temperature. 125. This is about a medium rare. If you like a medium, shoot for a 135. If you like a medium well, then just go to a Denny's with the rest of your people. Put your roast on the side because we're using the pan drippings to make an au jus. And here to show you how to make an au jus is a jus. First you wanna pick out some of these burnt vegetables. Then drain out about half of the grease. This is mostly butter and animal fat. We still need some, but this is a lot. Turn your heat to high and add in a couple tablespoons of flour and mix it together to make a roux. Once mixed, add in a splash of wine. Or you could add in like two splashes. Scrape the bottom of the tray to get all the good bits while you're cooking out the alcohol. Then add in two cups of beef broth and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Next, filter out the jus and there you have it, a deliciously hot a jus. All you need to do now is bless it with a menorah and have a happy Hanukkah. Okay, we're almost at the finish line. Cut off the twine and remove the bones. Bones are chef's treat, so put them on the side and hide them. You can eat them alone in your bathroom later. I'm gonna cut right down to the center because I have to show you this. 
I just want to take you on a date and make sweet, sweet love to you, then fall asleep while weeping, only to wake up and realize you're gone and you took my wallet, but more importantly, my heart. And there you have it guys, a delicious, nutritious prime rib with a hot savory au jus. I also have here a horseradish sauce, recipe is in the top right, I'll link the vid. Guys, this meat was absolutely amazing. It's so juicy and tender, seasoned perfectly. It's just the best way to enjoy Christmas with the family. What was that? Hello? Ah! That's it for today, guys. Make sure you look at Sissa. Follow me everywhere at Cheesy Desert Cooking. 2019 is gonna be a great year because I finally have this smoker here. Let's go ahead and unbox this smoker so I can show you what it's all about. What up, bro? What? What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Jackie, you can't smoke this. Kids watch this show. What are you talking about? I'm eating a smoked sausage. You want oh. some? Oh, okay, smoked sausage. I guess that's okay. I hey, no, 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 no. Oh, and I don't hate it, no. <laughs>